Hello, everyone, and welcome back into another episode of the Bet On Me podcast. It's Thursday, March 10th, 2022. I'm your host, Daniel Perkins. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We got the other night, there was only a couple games on, a couple hockey games on. So we took the night off, but tonight we got a full slate, and I've got all kinds of picks ready to go. Not really worried about the NBA tonight. Probably not going to worry about the NBA until playoffs because, you know, the NBA is just not my thing. When I when I do gamble on the NBA, you know, it's hit or miss for me. But, you know, the one thing that is that I'm more consistent at is hockey. So I figure if I'm going to do a gambling podcast, I might as well go ahead and give you guys more accurate picks. Smacking the mic. I'm always smacking the mic accurate picks and the best way to do that is to pick what i know and what i know is hockey so nfl hockey college basketball completely couldn't tell you what's what on college basketball that's why i don't even attempt it but baseball we could do baseball we do hockey we do nfl we do college football you know the sports that matter it's not that i don't like the nba it's just that you know, Kevin Durant the other day saying what he said, you know, kind of makes me want to stay away from the NBA altogether. So if you agree with that, then you're in the right place. And let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to the first game that I'm going to take tonight is uh, the Philadelphia Flyers and the Florida Panthers. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the the Florida Panthers. I mean, they're the best team, they're the best team in the Atlantic uh, over there in the Eastern Conference with 39 wins, 13 losses. I don't even, I don't know what their record is at home. What is it? It's it's 25 and six at home. Uh, away they're 14 and seven and five. I mean this right now they're on a four game win streak. You know, it's probably not wise to take the pick to go against Florida tonight, but. With this line, with the puck line being two and a half, that's just too high for me, I think. The way that the book reads, it just looks like it's a setup. And I think I think that Florida wins because Florida wins just about all the time. And if you've been listening to the podcast at all, you know that the Florida Panthers are my pick to win the NHL Cup, the Stanley Cup this year. I just think they're going to do it. I think they're the best team in hockey, regardless of what anybody wants to say about any other teams out there. I know Carolina's a favorite, but I just think Florida, this is their year. They beat everybody at home. They barely lose at home. I just don't think anybody beats them in a series, and I can't wait to see who plays them in that series. So Philadelphia, you know, not not one of the better teams in the NHL uh, right now they're sitting at 18 and 28. Uh, their away record is seven and 13 and five. So they're they're probably you know gonna gonna hang a L here tonight. But for some reason I'm just I'm just thinking that you know they hang in there and I don't think it's a high scoring game either. I think that you know Florida wins, but I think I you know I think they win by a couple pucks, but I don't think they win by three. So I got the Philadelphia Flyers plus two and a half pucks. That's the pick on that one. Also tonight we got Minnesota Wild against the Detroit Red Wings. And Detroit is coming in at 24 and 27 on the year. You know, Detroit's not a really good team. Even at home, they're uh, 16, 12, and 3. You know, away they're 8, 15, and 3. Just not a team you really want to bet on but right here up against the minnesota wild i'm thinking the wild are going to get the win of course you know the wild are what are they number three in the central in the western conference yeah they're 33 and 19 and you know away they're 16 13 and two so uh, they're also on a win streak right now as opposed to uh the red the red wings who are on a three game losing streak so tonight, this you know this is going a little bit against the grain as well, but we're going to take Detroit uh, plus one and a half. You know I, I think Minnesota gets the win, but the, I think they squeak by on this one because I think Detroit comes out and I think they play uh, as hard as they can to try to get a win. So if they don't get the win, they're going to stay in the game. I think. 
Also tonight, you got the Cracker, the, the Kraken, and the Ottawa Senators. Uh, Kraken, right now, terrible. Terrible team. Three game losing streak. You know, uh, away, they're 7 and 20 and 2. Uh, 17 and 37 on the season right now. Just not looking really good. Uh, on the other hand, you know, you got Ottawa. You know, the Senators, they're playing pretty good hockey right now. A lot better than Seattle, I guess. You know, 20 and 31 on the season right now. They're on a one game win streak. Uh, you know, at home, they're 10 and 16. Away, they're 10 and 15 and 3. Uh, you know, they got two ties there at home. But still, I, I'd probably, you know, if you were going to take just straight up, you know, I wouldn't take the Senators tonight. I'd go with the Kraken. This just seems like it's a setup game. The Kraken at plus 116 seems to be the better value. I know I know that it's it, it, it seems like Ottawa's going to get the win tonight. But if you want to take the Kraken on the points, uh, plus one and a half pucks, uh, you know, that would be a good idea as well. But it's it's really, it's I think it's juiced really high. So that's why, that's what kind of got me to take the money line there on the Seattle Kraken plus 116. Because I just feel like Ottawa, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just think both teams are kind of, you know, Ottawa's a little, they're better. They're playing the better hockey. But I think these are evenly matched teams. And, you know, I've seen the Kraken play some games where you didn't think they were going to do anything. And, man, they just... They made you look stupid. And that was when they played Edmonton. And we're not going to talk about how much money I've bet and lost on against the Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> That's why we don't gamble on the Edmonton Oilers anymore. And that is no joke. We don't. We don't We don't even look at the Edmonton Oilers games anymore. I don't care who they're playing, what they're doing. I don't care if the other team is, is playing like, uh, you know, um, what is it? The scab players. I don't care what it is. I don't care. I don't care. All right. So we got the Vegas Knights taking on the Buffalo Sabres and Buffalo is 18 and 32 on the season. And Vegas is coming in looking a little bit better than that. They are 32 and 22 on the season. At home they're 16, 13 and 3. Away they're 16, 9 and 1. But they're on a losing streak. But that's okay because so is Buffalo. They're on a two-game losing streak. Buffalo uh, 9-16-4 and four at home, 9-16-4 and four away. So in this one right here, I mean, it's it to me, this is pretty clear. This is one of those games that you can put the money, you can put your money on any way you want on the Vegas Golden Knights. But I took it uh, money line in regulation because I just think – that the Vegas Golden Knights get it done pretty quick there. Go back to the house, have a cup of tea, whatever it is they do after they go ahead and slay the Sabres there tonight. We got the Carolina Hurricanes and the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, this is probably, I guess, the, the game of the night that's on television. Uh, these are pretty, pretty close teams when it comes to the... Uh, the pick here. I I took Carolina Hurricanes. It's plus 100. Uh, I think Colorado is like minus 102 or 103 or it was. It, it could have moved by now, but uh, you know, Colorado 41 and 12 coming in. I mean, they're they're on a, a a losing streak though. You know, at home they're 23 three and three. Away they're 18 nine and two. I mean, just. Uh, what is it? Their last ten, they're they're six three and one. So I mean, it, they're they're one of the better teams. I still don't think they're better than the Florida Panthers, but coming up against one of the better teams in the NHL and the Carolina Hurricanes. I don't know. I mean, they're atop the Metropolitan, uh, thirty nine and twelve, and they're on a win streak, uh, two games uh, away. They're eighteen eight and three. 21 4 and 2 at home. Uh, last 10, they're 7 1 and 2. So, Carolina is probably, you know, the better bet to go there, I would think. You know, uh, Avalanche are a good team, but I think Carolina is just better, and I think they get it done. And at that plus money, I had to jump all over it. So, you should too. 
And also, we got the Winnipeg Jets taking on the New Jersey Devils. The Jets are coming in at 25 and 22. Uh, at home, they, they're 15, 11, and 2. In a way, they're 10, 11, and 8, and they're on a one-game win streak. They are 4, 4, and 2 in their last 10. And the New Jersey Devils are 21 and 35. Now, granted, like both these teams are sitting at the bottom of their conference. Uh, you know, the Jets at the bottom of the Central and the, the New Jersey Devils at the bottom of the Metropolitan. Uh, so, you know, the, uh, the but anyway, <laughs> the Devils are uh, 21 and 31 and, you know, at home, they're 13, 13 and 3, which is crazy. Away, they're 8, 18 and 2. Their last 10, listen to this, they're 5 and 5 and they're on a two game win streak. Uh, I think the Jets come in and knock them off. Uh, they're plus money tonight, 112. Um, I know New Jersey plays pretty decent at home, but, you know, the Jets, you know, away, they're, uh, you know, 10, 11, and 8. Like I said, you know, 4, 4, and 2. I just think they come in and, and they go ahead and put um, New Jersey under 500 there in the last 10 or in the win-loss column there, uh, giving them their – Giving them a differential there, I don't know. This it's, it's, it's <sighs> some of this. Some of these games are just funny the way these books set up because uh, it's it's almost like they want you. It's it's almost like the books saying, "Hey, come on, take take the Devils. Look, they're on a win streak. The the Jets are coming in. This is perfect. You know the lines. You know it's not too juiced. It's you know it's it's easy to take. No, put it on the Jets plus one twelve. And we need damn money because this is this is ridiculous the way that this sports book does this stuff. We got the Nashville Predators, and we've got who are the Nashville Predators playing? Hold on just a second. I, I done I done lost the notes there. We'll just pull it back up. It's what happens when you're when you're doing podcast. You lose you lose everything technicality. There it is. They're playing the Ducks tonight, and that's right. And the the, the they're I, I, this is another one of those that I just I'll go ahead and just go straight on the money line with because uh, I took the Knights in regulation um, and and I'm gonna take the Predators on the money line against the Ducks because the Ducks are a team I just don't have faith in uh, 27 and 23. You know, in their last ten, they're four and six. They're on a one-game losing streak. You know, away they're eleven, twelve, and five. At home they're sixteen, eleven, and four. And you got the Predators over here. You know, they are uh, what is it, thirty, thirty-two and twenty. Uh, they're on a two-game win win streak. They're also four and six. Their last ten, I think they're going to even that. You know, get that. I think they're going to get it back up there, plus differential. Or they already are. You know, uh, plus twenty. Uh, 16 and 10 and four away 16 10 and zero at home so you know it's just one of those games I just think that they're gonna come in and they're gonna get their 17th win at home against a team that's you know it's kind of like one of those like uh, little fly balls or little underhanded pitches they give you you know uh, they just throw it in there for them they just knock it out the park and I think the Predators are going to get it. So a lot of hockey talk, uh, a lot of things going on in sports with, you know, football and people being traded. I know uh, Carson Wentz went to the Washington Admirals. Was it the Admirals or the Commanders? I think it's the Admirals. I can't remember. It's the Washington football team, if you ask me. We should have just kept it as that. I'm pretty sure Carson Wentz went there uh, the other day and got signed. And we all seen Russell Wilson going over there to Denver. Um, you know, uh, Aaron Rodgers decided to stay in Green Bay. And Tom Brady is completely retired and it doesn't look like he's coming back. So the NFL is is moving on. It's moving on. All the older players are, are moving out and moving on. And the younger generation is coming in, and I can't wait to see what's going on with those guys. But Russell Wilson in Denver is going to be very, 
very interesting. Uh, depending on who they, you know, put around him, that division. I, I you know, I don't know. I think he's still going to play. It. I think he'll play. Yeah, he'll have to play Aaron Rodgers. Now that's going to be a good game. It's going to be a great game. I'm not sure if he would have played Aaron anyway. I'm pretty sure they said he's in a different division. Um, It's going to be good football. Can't wait for this next year. It's going to be a really good season. I'm I'm really ready for it. We're going to get through it, though. Looking forward to baseball. Uh, Going to be checking out the NBA Finals, the NBA Playoffs. Don't do much NBA regular season because... It is all over the place. And Kevin Durant saying the things he said the other day about uh, sports gambling. Man. (laughs) It's like to know now that players are going to be looking at their lines. And like, because, I mean, everybody, you get on these sports books and you can see like these parlays. Like there's parlays on the sports book. I use FanDuel. And when you open FanDuel up, you know, you open it right up. And it pops up, and it's like, hey, you know, log in, put in your information. That way we can get your money. And it's got, you know, it gives you literally, like, parlays here. It's it's the, uh, the, the, the what is this, the the BR betting parlay, you know. And, and then you'll have somebody like one of these guys off Fox News or ESPN or, you know, like Pat McAfee has like a has a, a parlay and like it'll even tell you how many people are betting on that parlay with you like tonight one of them is you know Durant hitting some Harden hitting some and Bede getting some rebounds and Irvin hitting some threes now that could very well hit but I mean you know now that I know Kevin Durant wants to sabotage people's parlays and, and gambling he's going to be looking at this stuff <laughs> I, okay, let's just let's just. I'm just gonna call something real quick. I'm just gonna call something real quick. I'm gonna take a look at this real quick. This is gonna be the end of it. The podcast is almost over. I done gave you the picks. Uh, if you guys are looking for anything else, any other picks, I give out random picks throughout the night on the Twitter, the Instagram, uh, and the TikTok. I have a TikTok now as well. Uh, the Bet On Me podcast. If you're on there, you want to go ahead and jump on there and follow all that stuff. I leave all the uh, just all the links and all that stuff below in the description under wherever it is you listen to YouTube, you know, Spotify, Apple. You just click on the description right below, and it'll give you all the links to all that stuff. So you can just go right to it. Anyway, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's gonna have like. Probably 23 points tonight. I, if I, you know, I, I'd go the under tonight. I would definitely take the under tonight on Kevin Durant. I just have a feeling because when when there's parlays that when there's parlays marketed on the betting sites saying that he's going to go over, and you know you got that with you know Harden going over and all this, like I just I wouldn't take it. I know we think because, you know, Kevin had, uh, you know, kind of a shorter game the other night on points that he's going to go over tonight. No, I, I would I would imagine to say he's going to get right at it. If you're going to gamble on the NBA, now you're going to have to, like, start paying attention to the psyche of some of these players, man. And I just can't do it. I can't do it. That's, that's not what I do. So we're sticking to the to the games where it's it's not about ego and, and all that, which clearly it is in the NBA. And it, does he have the right does he have the right to do what he says he's gonna do? Yes he does. He is playing in the NBA. He has the right to not score, not shoot, pass the ball more if he wants to. But it's just it's wrong to let gambling and what Vegas says about how much you're going to score tonight dictate your performance. That's that's kind of shitty. You know. I mean, Westbrook had 30, LeBron had a triple double and they still lost. What's there to talk about in the NBA? Sounds like a bunch of sounds like sounds like an episode of uh, you know, real world road rules. From back when I was in high school. Just a bunch of bickering. 
But, yeah, that's why I don't want to bet on the NBA anymore because, you know, when you got star players making statements like that, it makes me really weary because I feel like I'm just going to be throwing money away because I didn't know Kevin Durant was in a bad mood that day, you know? It is what it is. But you got your hockey picks. This is the Bet On Me podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, leave a comment. We got an email. Send us an email at Bet On Me podcast. You can complain about anything you didn't like, complain about the things you did like, ask a question. Or, like I said, just complain and tell me how shitty the show is. Guys, thank you so much. Until next time, go get those bets in.